Hey guys, uh, if anyone's watching this, hi, I'm Raymond, um, and welcome to my channel. In this episode, well, in this video, <laughs> it's not really an episode, and I never know where to look on this, but um, forgive me, I'm, I'm still getting used to this. Um, I'm going over my uh, book two um, from my previous uh, video where of my uh, I think I titled that one book two London journeys so uh yeah we're gonna just get straight into this one um I've got a bit of a ring light going on here so hopefully that helps with the clarity a little bit and uh yeah so our last um page in the last video was this one right here two lovers creating their own world essentially their own little universe there and then this right here is the next half of the book basically this one i call this one lament i guess I don't really know. Sometimes I I just be making up the names on the spot. What I used to do is I would ask people what they would call this. Like I would show them the image and then get them to give me a name. Uh, giving a name to some of these things is actually one of the hardest things to, <laughs> to think of. Like people really struggle to do that. So. That's why I just be making them up on the spot in these videos. I love to draw like human hearts. That's like, <laughs> yeah, all right. That's like one of my favorite things um, to draw because the human heart, even though not physically, I mean, even though physically it's, it's our engine it's also the source of many of our emotions right that's what we that's what we describe as our core right so the next page is another heart this one this one actually uh, some some girl that i worked with asked me to design a heart tattoo for her with some music notes um she didn't give me any guidance or anything. She just asked me to do it. So I just went a bit nuts. Turns out she wanted something really simple. She wanted like um <laughs> like a, just a little classic like heart silhouette. Not not a real human heart, just like a regular um card suit heart with um like a couple of music notes around it. You know a very simple one because i think she was planning on getting a really small heart but when you don't give anyone any um <laughs> any guidelines or of what you want they will go nuts and they'll do something a little bit above and beyond so that's what happened there but obviously this one really resonated with me because music is is like king for me so that's that's what that's about myself a little bit more central and then this one here is just a classic rose skull image I actually because I, I was really fond of this image here I ended up um, creating lots of further designs with my Photoshop stuff and with my clothing brand based on this image or using this image as like a foundation or a base for some of the, the, the graphics and stuff. Um, pretty simple, but obviously the heart is uh, a little bit different because of all the patterns and stuff on it. Uh, if you follow my Patreon, 
um this is one of the featured uh pieces that you can get like straight away as soon as you join if you want like to use it as a wallpaper uh, i think i called it modern modern art x on there because i added a bunch of color and stuff to it but you can also get the original one the original core drawing if you uh, sign up there and then we've got the puppet master here I mean I didn't give it that name but that's kind of what it looks like I guess apparently a lot of my imagery is very dark I didn't even realize this but uh people describe my stuff as like dark academia steampunk kind of stuff I mean I love steampunk as a as a genre or, and as an idea because I love the idea of having like classic like a classic world you know set in the Victorian era but having all this futuristic technology that we don't even have now love that idea I love most things steampunk to be fair the aesthetic as well obviously is very very intriguing and stylish so and then we've got this one i called this one guidance i actually had a, had a title for this one because this being here essentially has evolved from just being a regular Joe, Sm Joe Schmo, <laughs> just from a regular person like these people here, he has obviously transcended and is trying to bestow his knowledge and guidance to them. That's why they all sit around and, and pay attention. This one is just a uh, another savage i guess just i mean obviously hopefully if some of you guys see these please give me some comments on what you think but yeah just uh another male study here basically with just uh some uh, crazy hair that's pretty much it there this one, another male study. <laughs> but he's got a bunch of arms and a bunch of weapons. Kind of like a god of war, so to speak. You know? That's pretty much the gist of that one. Ah. And we have a sort of bionic angel here. I love to draw angels as well. That's another thing. Like seraphim and all that. Cherubim. Uh, this is just like a regular angel. With um, some bionic limbs. It's funny because this bit here. People thought he was like an amputee. Um, I guess it's the way I drew it. But. Nah, no, it's more like he's ascending. He's just flying up. Um, but yeah. That one's cool as well. This one's a little bit basic. I didn't do too much to this one. But it's uh, just two lovers kissing. Um, just another study, really. A lot of these, um, I used, um, I want to give credit where credit is due. I used a lot of uh, Kate Fox's references. Uh, Kate Fox is, was an artist. I don't know if she still is on DeviantArt, but she was an artist on DeviantArt. And she would put up a bunch of reference styles like this. You can Google it and obviously find references on Google as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, I used a lot of her reference 
images to reference and then obviously sort of create my own from there um right here <laughs> this is like a, a couple of characters basically these funnily enough were inspired by um, a couple of footballers so the one on the right there was inspired by Eden Hazard I think I said his name right Eden Eden Hazard and the one on the left there was kind of inspired by Zlatan Ibrahimovic um, the idea of this was actually quite funny because I, I always thought to myself how funny it would be if in football right they wore capes and stuff like this like like they wore uh, like capes and and, <laughs> and and ran around the pitch with those capes that would be crazy right that would make the whole game much more of a spectacle right but obviously it will be quite impractical i think um but yeah it would have been hilarious or or not all of them not they didn't all have to wear capes just maybe like the the captains <laughs> or or like or like the strikers or whatever you know but it would probably get in the way way more than you know people would like but this one here was another sort of abstract, disproportionate uh, drawing that I made. I mean, I was trying to draw like an African queen, but like with this one, I was just fumbling the bag, so to speak. Like. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't actually that great. But the reason why I kept it in was because, you know, like I said, the mistakes are part of it, you know, all of it. Like the mistakes are something you have to accept and move with, you know. Yeah, like the line on this one, even the line on her headpiece does not look good. Well, but sometimes the the bad accentuates the good, doesn't it? So, um, and then this right here, this one was a very was an abandoned image. I was trying the African Queen again with the sort of Egyptian headpiece there, but I kind of abandoned it. I never went ahead and finished it. Instead, I traded that one for this one which is like a Middle Eastern woman. Obviously the most exceptional part of the eyes. I just love that. I was gonna do the whole face, but then I thought it's better if it's more mysterious like this. Um, and obviously I always had, to, I, I love sort of mechanizing all of the body parts and stuff. I just love adding those kind of metallic shades because um, it was it was an opportunity for me to experiment with, with my shading like I've always loved to shade like that and uh, people a lot of the time more than anything else love to look at other human bodies so like I love looking at human bodies and then obviously human bodies you know mixed with like some kind of metallic influence always looks a bit a little bit more interesting don't have too many pages left now this was <laughs> a very very furry uh, cheetah I never added the spots to this it's because I, I overdid it on the fur a little bit but obviously love those eyes right yeah yeah this one was cool I never did anything with this one though but I just finished it and then that was that okay so this one was my attempt at a uh, 
chameleon and then with all these different letters and, and numbers I think the idea was this of this one was change like things change throughout time I guess yeah. so I guess that was the idea behind it I know I had a clearer concept before of why I did all this but you know and then this one it's a wild guitarist so a wild guitarist crazy hair just going ham and creating all kinds of chaos with a wolf there as well not much to say about this one just this one's also a little bit disproportionate if you've noticed that like the fingers and the hands are a little bit fingers and hands are always so like tricky yeah <laughs> and then this right here is my version of the matrix so obviously we've got the logo right there in the center and then the rest of it is just an intricate maze of shades not much to say there I remember I asked one woman on a train, like, what does she see when she looks at this? And she was like, oh, she sees the male and the female. Like, the, the male, I guess, was the lotus and the female was the outside or vice versa because the female is very complex and the male is very simple. I guess that was the explanation she gave me. It was... It was very interesting to that she got that perspective, you know, which was quite quite funny. But but I appreciate any feedback, obviously. This one, I call this one show off. <laughs> so just another male figure there, just to study. Um, obviously, a very lean, muscular man there. As, as this is like the type of male figure that a lot of women would be drawn to, so to speak. You know, like very masculine, but also very aesthetically pleasing. And then we got my uh, sort of ghost in the shell version right here. Yeah, this one was quite sweet. It was a very simple concept. But, um, yeah. It was just another female study, obviously. A lot of these are just studies that I add, you know, add stuff to, like I mentioned before. This, I think, I think this one was inspired by um hancock you know from one piece i think so or i don't know obviously obviously i love to draw beautiful women and yeah that was just uh one of those one of those drawings and then this one this one which inspired this painting right here this pink uh, these pink ladies here is an female warrior pretty much one of them essentially arguably she's the real leader who knows but I call this one stand you know Just because she's about to either she's about to draw or to be fair she looks like she's putting the sword back there so 
she's only done what she needed to do. And then we've got the reunion. Oops, I can put my fingers in the way. But yeah, this one, I call it the reunion. It's getting a bit blurry there. Yeah. Two lovers that look very similar there. But, you know, they love each other. This one, I don't know if it was very good. I think this one was kind of rushed. But, this one uh, is basically Fallen Angels. Yeah. Damaged wings. Damaged arm. Yeah, fallen. Not very good. I didn't do a good job with the wing down either. But like I said, I think I might have rushed that one. Then we've got the Wasp Ninja, I guess. <laughs> I actually like this one quite a bit. I think this one's quite cool. It's very, very stylish, this one. As you can see, a lot of my stuff is like anime inspired. So that looks like an anime character for sure. And then a uh, tech rose there. I don't know what I was trying to do with this one. But yeah, just rose with a bunch of uh, technological line art i guess i think i was trying to recreate um the rose with the skull but just as a rose this time but i wanted it to be a bit different as well so <laughs> and then this one i call this one the last laugh it's just a skull that's laughing his, his head off i guess um i don't know where i got this reference from or, I don't know what made me think of this, but I just like it, you know, it looks crazy. But yeah, I call it the last laugh because it's literally the last page of the book. Yeah, there's nothing else after that. <sighs> so yeah, that is book two. If you've made it this far, again, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. And consider subscribing. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching.